<laughs> Hi and welcome to Fly or Die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. And today we are looking at the brand new Lego Mindstorms. This is Fly or Die. Look at this thing. This is the biggest robot Lego thing that I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's the biggest one you've ever seen. <laughs> and you can also make other crazy Lego things. You can make five different models. There's like a scorpion type one, well, and there's snake. like a snake kind of guy. Lift, lift stuff they up. all have names. So to be clear, what Mindstorms is, it's basically Legos with a computer built in. So you have this little box in here. Right. And this is all... called the brick. And you plug this in in the middle of whatever little dude you're making and he controls all these sensors in the front. Which you have a touch sensor, you have a color sensor, you have a infrared motors, sensor, infrared sensors, and it's really, really cool. So the, the idea is that you could like program, it comes with these little balls here that you can see. You can program this guy to like pick up a ball when he sees it and then like shoot it at like a target. There's all kinds of fun stuff you can program in here. Now, as a parent, I despise Legos because when you step on them, they hurt a lot. Right, well, I mean, you have like an eight-year-old, right? Yeah. If you gave him this, he doesn't really like Legos that much, but if he did like Legos and he put it all together, how much work would you have to do in helping him program right. it? Do you think that a kid can do this on their own? It's meant for 10 plus, so yeah. eight is From is what under. I understand, these things are fairly basic. It's, it's, the lo it's the logo start of sort of situation where you go five feet and you have multiple sensors, you have if-then statements, which is exciting. And it's, a, and it's really great that they're basically giving, this is a STEM education in a box, per se. Uh, you build robot, robots, you have programs, you can create cool stuff. Is this, is this for every kid? I'm not sure, because it's a really expensive, first off. It's 350 it's 350 for a robot. That's a lot. And one of the problems that I have with these things is that they're kind of, they're really expensive and they're mostly aimed at adults who like to do build this stuff and like to build right. robots. And those guys are already nerds. They don't need to become nerds. So if you're in the market for something geeky, would you say that getting a Sphero might be a better idea than... For the children? For the children, yeah. The children, the children looked at the Sphero. They didn't like the Sphero. The kids didn't like the Sphero either. The kids don't like anything. My They're unpleasable. Like, and, it's, and I would say that my children are, are a fairly rare case because they see so much technology. Right. But as a parent, I would far prefer uh, to give them a Erector set or Lincoln Logs than something like this that can that can shoot balls and all the pieces that shoot balls will eventually end up under the couch. And yeah. one will get missing and then you can't build yeah, anything ever build. again. That said, would I not give this to a kid who is really science minded? I would, I would do that 100% if I had 350 bucks that I wanted. I feel like it on. is a good encourager when we're trying to get more kids into science and technology to give them something like this. It's a big cost though. And then of course there's all the geeks out there, all the teenagers who want to get into this stuff. So. But at age 10 you could also feasibly give them an Arduino board and say, hey, this is crazy stuff. I was programming fairly hardcore stuff on my Atari 800XL back when I was 10. I bet it was hardcore. It was hardcore, hardcore gaming. <laughs> Fly or die. I love it. I love the topic. I love the concept. Concept and I love Lego, so I'm going to give it a fly generally. But I think it's, I worry that buying something like this for for a precocious child may not be exactly what they're looking for. Right. I'm going to give it a fly too. I think that might entail Lego kind of pushing more towards an older demographic. I mean, Lego just feels young. You know what yeah. I mean? It's hard to be a 15 year old and be like, yeah, I got this new set of Legos. You know what I mean? But that's really who this is aimed at. So um, I'm gonna give it a fly as well, but I think there are some tweaks that could, that could happen in the future generations. Right. So there you have it. $350 box of Legos, Lego Mindstorms. This has been Flyer Die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. Thanks for watching.